here, now here we here, we got Gucci. And I'm talking about Gucci have gone so far as to design away from putting logos on their shit because they knew that's what we wanted back in the 90s, early 2000s. You couldn't hardly find no shit with no Gucci print on there, you know what I mean? Now, you know, because we buy more of their shit than Italians do, than the French do, than the, the British do, now they got they they wouldn't got they want they want us they want our business so much they wouldn't got Dapper Dan to become a designer consultant. And still they coming with the, 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 the monkey shit. Still they coming with the disrespect. It's your boy Soldier Boy and in terrifying the notice, Gucci is cancelled. I'm shocked and I'm appalled. And I feel disrespected. I supported y'all brands, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. And y'all came out with a shirt with blackface on. Gucci is canceled. We're only rocking Fendi headbands from now on. Fendi everything and fashion over. Fendi fashion over drip. See what I'm saying? Gucci is canceled. Tell ya! Hey, man. I've been watching all this shit about these high-end designers like Gucci. Now, uh, what was that, Prada? Prada doing that shit. My advice to y'all is stop getting mad at all white people. Get mad at the companies and the old motherfuckers. Cause those the racist. The little kids, they ain't. It's by default for them, it's them old motherfuckers. Uh, y'all just need to stop putting their clothes on. Stop making the excuses. Stop accepting them apology. If you see a model in their clothes, nigga, you know what it is. It's that simple. Nigga, start investing in, into black high fashion. They all on Instagram. They, y'all call it boutique clothes and degrade them. Black high fashion, if you're a black person. It's that simple. It's not being racist, not picking sides. That's how it goes. You wear all that the high end designer, European shit, no disrespect to it. And it's too small for us. It ain't it ain't made for our body. Black high fashion designers. People, the people who have the least amount of inclusion, the people who get the, the least amount of respect, we buy the most shit. You dig what I'm saying? So we don't have to force them to like us. We don't have to force them to accept us. But what we do have to do is stop spending our motherfucking money with people who gonna continue to give you their ass to kiss. Why in the fuck you do that? For what? For what? The only reason Gucci had it because we made that shit hot. If we stop wearing that shit today, that shit tank, period. Ain't nobody trying to dress like nobody goddamn in, in, in the suburbs. Ain't nobody trying to dress like them little white boy, man, them, the, the, who come up out of motherfucking uh, 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 Beckingham Palace. Ain't nobody want to dress like that, man. They want to dress like us. They want to dress like us. They want to wear their shoes like us. They want to wear their hats like us. You know what I'm saying? They want to dress like us. We run this shit Period. When we used to say everything's Gucci, that used to be a good thing. But Gucci season's over, nigga. It's Justin Blue, 60 seconds ain't enough, but I'm proud of Soldier Boy for publicly announcing that Gucci is canceled before everybody catches amnesia and goes back to doing the same thing. Cause they had the nerve to make a black face sweater then turned around and tried to act like it was an accident. Look, I got a bachelor's degree in advertising and marketing. Major companies pay experts and professionals to do in-depth research on what products to sell and what marketing plans will work the best. So that wasn't no accident. An accident is a typo. An accident is when you step on somebody's shoes in the club. An accident is when you're on the phone and your face hits the red button. 
button. But an accident isn't making a black face sweater and then coming up with a complex marketing plan in order to sell it. Now as much as I hate to say it, it was a genius move. Because a great part of advertising is understanding psychology. Luxury brands don't advertise to black folks because they understand that black consumers love buying things that they think are meant for white people. They understand that they can capitalize off of racist clothing and still keep black consumers in the long run. So I see everyone angry, but I challenge y'all to keep that same energy. Because if not, you'll be doing exactly what Gucci's marketing team predicted. 